Molten Hunas in New York today, that's separate from his physical that he has to pass as well. Well, he'll go back. I mean, it's all part of the physical. All part of the physical. Is Re I'm, we've gotten lost on this too. Is Reggie Bullock's nose, is he all ready to go? He's ready to go, yeah. And KCP's 100%. He's ready to go. Okay. What's the biggest challenge when you bring in players at this point in the season, getting them up to speed with what it is that you guys want to do? I mean, it's just a learning thing. You know, just, just you've got to take practice time. Uh, to do some things, which takes away your practice time from uh, other things. We had not been playing well defensively. Would have liked to have spent, uh, you know, a lot of time on the defensive end of the floor. But, um, you know, we had to spend more time on offense and we would like just to be organized. But, um, you know, that's all part of it. Hey, uh, Stan, is your experience that everybody calls floppy, floppy, everybody calls horns, horns? Does everybody have a different name for uh, You know, there's some people call things a little bit different, um, you know, but for the most part, some of those things are the same. Yeah, and certainly when you say them, guys know what you're talking about. So, uh, yeah, there's some things that are pretty easy. When you uh, compare now to last year, we had to play, I guess, with the Bulls right after the trade deadline and you made those changes and stuff. Do you think you maybe still, oh, even though you're a little shorthanded, do you still think you're better equipped to go into a game than you were last year when you were like waved shorthanded? I think you had Spencer and who was your point? I can't remember who your backup point guard was. John Lucas. Probably John Lucas. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That's right. It was John Lucas. I don't so. know if we had John at that point. Did you still got John yet? I don't know, I don't know either. Uh, well, I guess compare. I, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we play if we're better equipped. <laughs> With Dwight, do you have a, a maybe not tonight, but once he gets rolling, do you have a? Did, will he play similar minutes to like Marcus, or, do you, or will Marcus's minutes inch down a little bit with this? Edge? I hope a little bit. You know, not a lot. I mean, Marcus still going to play big minutes, but you know, we'd like to get him off the 37, 38 minute a game thing. Yeah. KCP same way, or you just need him? I'd like to. I'd like to eventually, you know, get those guys down to a more reasonable uh, minutes thing, especially in a. Uh, stretch here you know we've got a little less than eight weeks to go and we've got nine back-to-backs in this stretch i'd like to get their their minutes down a little bit I'm sure you've answered obviously tons of questions about acquiring marcus back when you did since marquis was just added here how, what was your thought process about the separating of the twins and how that would they would react obviously marquis has had an interesting season. What was your sense at that point of what that would mean for you guys? I didn't have any idea. I mean, we, we just knew that, you know, we liked Marcus. He was a good player, very professional guy, hard worker. Um, so we never had any problems from our end with it. I mean, Marcus was upset when it happened, upset at Phoenix, but it never never had any effect on what we were doing in Detroit. He's a real professional guy. In what ways are they different? Oh, you know, again, I've never coached Markeith, so I could only comment on Marcus. I know Arn's kind of handling the day-to-day -day stuff up in Flint for you guys, but you guys, the team gave money before the break, and I'm just wondering what you what you hope the follow-through will be in the weeks and months to come from the team's aspect, the team standpoint. Well, from the team standpoint, I mean, you know, it's really been spearheaded by Tom and by Platinum Equity, and, yeah. and that's clearly, you know, um, you know, a big commitment. I mean, you know, ten million dollars and. Um, you know, I think from the team standpoint, you know, we all wanted to do our small part and we wanted to do anything we could to draw attention to the situation there. And hopefully um, that leads to more interest from other people because it really is a, uh, a national tragedy. And, and I think, uh, you know, it's finally getting the attention it deserves and anything we can do to help in that regard, um, aside from just the money we give, we'd like to do.